Good morning, my dear students. I hope you are well and safe. We have here uh, today uh, reading one course. We have lesson 18. Before we begin with lesson 18, I have to uh, give you two pieces of advice. The first one is related to your health. Uh, nowadays, we are suffering from a uh, corona disease, coronavirus. So the best way to prevent corona is to keep away from mixing with other people. Don't mix with other people. Don't shake hands. Don't kiss other people. Don't touch other people. Uh, try to keep away from other people to stay healthy, happy, and comfortable. This, I mean, my first advice. My second piece of advice is related to your academic affairs. Uh, time is precious. Time is invaluable. Do not, I mean, uh, waste your time. If you waste your time, you will not find time later on when you need it. So, you have to make the best use of your time, you have to study hard right from the beginning. Do your best. If you do your best, if you do not delay your homeworks, if you do not, for example, do no, de, 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 uh, delay your homework, and if you study right from the beginning, you can guarantee that you will be very good students. You can be excellent students, uh, not only in reading, but also in writing, in listening, in conversation, and so on. So uh, try to make the best use of your time. Now we'll move to uh, our lesson. We'll read reading three, uh, reading three, which is about a stage uh, here. Uh, fright or stage fear. Uh, stage fright uh, the disconcerts even the most experienced performers. Disconcerts means worries, makes worried, confused, whether they be a professional or not. The minute they open their mouths, they begin to tremble. They forget their lines or act, and their performance is beset, as of course, I mean, surrounded by an aura of misery, by a kind of misery. If the, if the Food and Drug Administration in the United States gives uh, its approval, uh, a new drug is going to be produced for the cure of stage fright. This drug is called uh, Proboranol. Proboranol is a drug used in the treatment of hypertension, high blood pressure. Recent studies indicate, show that the drug relieves, of course, make, gives relief to uh, the anxiety of uh, performers. An experiment uh, with students at the, I mean, a Juilliard School of Music in New York and at the University of uh, Nebraska was conducted, was carried out. After taking Probanol, subjects gave solo performances. They gave solo performances. Uh, during which their hearts were monitored, were tested, were examined by an electrocardiograph. Afterwards, their blood pressure was taken. Not only were the symptoms of stage fright ameliorated, means improved, but also their heart rates were relatively normal and their uh, critics pleased by their performances. 
However, however, beneficial bromonol may appear. It must nevertheless be employed, be used judiciously, wisely, used to control high blood pressure and uh, agina, angina, and to help prevent height, uh, heart uh, attacks. The drug is uh, dangerous for uh, sufferers of asthma, uh, hay fever, and various types of diabetes and ha heart uh, conditions. The drug cannot be imprudently, unwisely uh, marketed, sold. Scrupulous care, extreme care, wise care must be taken to limit its sale. Yes, that's right. Now, uh, we have read uh, the passage. It's about stage fright and about uh, the drug which is supposed to prevent it called, it is called bromonol, but it has side effects. So it must be used wisely. Now, my advice to you is that you should read the, this passage at least three times to make sure that you understand everything let's now move to the exercises we have here uh, a review topic uh, sentences uh, here state the main idea of a paragraph the topic sentence may appear any place in the paragraph or it may be uh, merely understood it is implied uh, answer these questions about topic sentences and supporting details now we have uh, question number one what is the topic sentence in paragraph number one yeah is it stated or uh, uh, implied yes here the uh, the sentence is about uh, we have here, yes, we have a stage of fright. This concerns even uh, the most exper experienced performers. Yes. Uh, number two, what is the topic? Uh, I mean, here, the topic sentence in paragraph two. A propanol here is a drug used in uh, treatment of high blood pressure. This is, I mean, the topic sentence number three what is the topic sentence in paragraph number three here we have uh, been, however initial bromol may appear it must be uh, nevertheless be employed judiciously wisely uh, number four list the supporting details for the main idea in paragraph number two yes we have this one, uh, how it affects or improves uh, high, I mean, blood pressure or uh, stage of fright. Uh, number two, uh, five, list the uh, supporting details in paragraph number three. We have here the dangerous side effects of propanol. It may cause so and so and so. So we have to deal with this kind of. Uh, I mean, a side effects of the disease or of the drug. It can cure the disease, but it can cause subsidiary uh, effects, which is, uh, I mean, a very bad condition. Uh, number B, we have detailed comprehension. It shows the alternative, it shows the synonym or the option uh, number one before a drug can be marketed it must have a no bad side effects b the fda uh, approval uh, number c provides a cure number d limited use uh, uses and here, and uh, the answer is number B. 
it must have the if the is approval. All right. Uh, number two, a true or false? True or false? Uh, experienced performers do not suffer from stage fright. No, it is false. They suffer. Even experienced performers uh, suffer from stage fright. Uh, number three, propanol uh, here has uh, been wisely used. A, to cure stage fright. B, in a school of music. C, with a great caution. D, in the treatment of heart diseases. And the answer here is, uh, yes, D, in the treatment of heart diseases. Number four, one of the effects of taking a propanol is A, uh, decreased uh, anxiety, B, very slow uh, heartbeat, C, an electrical or electrocardiograph, D, an uh, inferior performance. Yes, the effects is here of course we have uh, decreased uh, yes decreased uh, I mean anxiety there yeah, we have uh, right we have here uh, that uh, the, it was monitored and not only was the symptoms of stage fright related but also their heartbeats uh, so we have here, uh, uh, I mean, number one, uh, which is mean here, uh, decreased anxiety. Number five, a person wh who has, could not take berberol, who has angina, A, or an aura of misery, B, or C, shakes, D, high fever, or hay fever. Uh, yes, here we have, of course, uh, it causes here uh, angina, yes, yeah, asthma, uh, high hay fever, and variety of so and so, yes. So, it, uh, I mean, who has hay fever cannot take probanol. Number six, presumably, probably. The prefix hyper in the word hypertension means A, high, B, too much, uh, C, uh, insufficient, D, dangerous. Uh, hyper means here, uh, of course, uh, high, right. Number seven, uh, give another word uh, that uses hyper as its a prefix we have here hyper uh, tension uh, we have hyper sensitive you can see that yes number eight uh, the students who took berberol before their performance a performed very well b were not as nervous as they usually were uh, c were not disconcerted by performing publicly. D, all of the above. I think uh, A is correct. B is correct. Uh, C uh, is also correct. So we can say all of the above. Uh, number nine. Uh, Brubanol may be marked for A, uh, limited public. B, all performance, C, general use, D, an experimental period. Uh, since it has side effects, dangerous side effects, Brovenol can be, of course, uh, yes, limited, marked for a, a limited public. That's right. Number 10, presumably, probably, 
possibly an electrocardiograph is a an x-ray b an experiment c a machine d a graph of course it's a machine yeah right uh, number uh, c uh, here we, uh, we go to the final exercise today we have vocabulary work write the number of the definitions in column uh, b beside the word in column a now we have these uh, well, let's read column a and b to make sure that you uh, choose the correct one a uh, disconcert uh, b days c basic d aura e monitor f ameliorate g uh, judicious uh, h imprudent i market now we have to look for the definition yes uh, this concert means here uh, yeah this concert means uh, right here uh, through into confusion through into confusion uh, B uh, days here we have yes a platform or a stage a B set means here a surround or yes uh, sur yeah showing a and uh, aura here uh, uh, we have feeling uh, that seems to come from a person or a place uh, a monitor uh, means here uh, keep track of um, ameliorate course cause to become better uh, just course means uh, wise or wisely yes wise or wisely um, hmm. uh, imprudent means unwise market means offer for sale right uh, we can stop here this is the end of this lesson if you have any questions please let me know I'd be glad to help you or and to answer any uh, question you offer and uh, thank you for joining me today uh, have a good time and uh, goodbye see you next lecture